Hello again, friends. Uh, I have got what I hope is going to be a treat for, for everyone. It's certainly a treat for me. Um, and this is going to be, um, I'm going to have to piece together this video. Uh, I usually try to shoot them all a contig contiguous shot. But this one, I got a few things I want to uh, demonstrate, so I'm going to have to uh, piece it together. Okay, so what do we got here? This is, uh, you may have remembered from a previous video, uh, I received this um, Roden Schwartz M3TR transceiver man pack, military man pack. Uh, and I've now received a second or third one, I should say. This is the second one I've disposed of. So uh, this is, now I have two in my possession after disposing of one. This uh, is a very unique one. This is special. This actually covers, get this, for, for receive and transmit, 1.5 megahertz all the way to 512 megahertz. So, in fact, receive, you can go down to 200 kilohertz. Uh, so imagine op with one man pack radio operating everywhere from uh, 160 meters all the way up to 440 megahertz. Uh, quite an amazing feat. I will say, however, there's, there's, there's no free lunch here. As a man pack configuration, this will work up to, I believe it is 108 megahertz. Uh, so the HF portion of the band will, will operate up to 20 watts. This is with, um, you know, a, a battery sitting at the bottom of it. Uh, the VHF portion from uh, 30 to 108 will operate at 10 watts. However, above 108, from 108 to 512, it's only one milliwatt. Of course, why would they make it one milliwatt? Well, uh, that exciter mode is designed to be used in a vehicular setup. Um, now, uh, this is gets, gets very interesting. I'm trying to figure out how to piece it all together to you. So let's, let's go over the components. So here we have a, um, hope it's, hope it's uh, focusing. Here we have a docking station that the radio will fit into and mount in a truck. Of course, take the, you have to take the battery out first, and that's one of the things I will do. Here we have a 150 watt, uh, hoping to get this to focus, HF amplifier, 150 watt HF amplifier. And then here we have a 150 watt an automatic antenna tuning unit or ATU or antenna coupler, however you want to describe it. Uh, let's go around the back and not, not a lot really to look at other than the coupler. And you will see there is a high voltage terminal and that would be for use with a vehicular whip or a vertical if you're out in the field. Uh, not a lot really to show in the back and I, I hope, uh, hope we're getting uh, video here. Hope we're getting some good light, some lighting. Um, this, this is the control that goes to the amp. It also is the RF signal. Um, and I will try to show you here. Very unusual. This is another cable. And hopefully if we can focus, you'll see there are four little RF coaxial, I'm sorry, three RF coaxial contacts. Uh, I'll hopefully explain this to you if you don't get too bored of it. But one of them uh, is the HF signal, and the other two is a serial bus. Call, they call it RCB, radio control bus. It's a serial bus uh, that I believe forms a, a ring uh, and uses Manchester coating. For those of you uh, who know what Manchester coding is, which is a combined data and clock stream. And it allows uh, to control the, uh, the details, you know, the, the configuration of the HF amp. For example, things like filters, you know, what band filter to put in. And also controls the antenna coupling unit as well. So, yeah, this cable is quite interesting. Uh, now, getting back to my original discussion uh, about... The fact that this eight, that this man pack can cover HF, VHF, and UHF all together, there is a configuration of this system which I am trying to put together uh, that has two amplifiers, HF amplifier, and a second amplifier which is VHF UHF amplifier. 
and then that amplifier goes off to an antenna. This antenna coupling unit goes off to an antenna. And in fact, the UHF amp uh, has two antenna outputs, one for VHF, one for UHF. So now the only trouble is this particular cable assembly, as I mentioned, only has three uh, co uh, uh, coax contacts. That is not the right cable for a system containing both an HF amplifier and a VHF UHF amplifier. For that, I need a different cable that has four RF contacts, a, a different cable assembly. And of course, that would be HF on one, the, uh, the RCB, the two, two for the RCB, the radio control bus, and then the fourth for the VHF UHF exciter signal from the Ant-Man pack into that, into the, into the, into the UHF uh, amplifier. So uh, this is a system I'm, I'm trying to put together, but today I want to I want to demonstrate a few things. First, uh, I'll demonstrate that this radio does in fact operate from uh, 1.5 to 512. I will just show on 3.885 megahertz AM, 52 megahertz or something uh, FM, and then of course uh, 500. I'll do 445 megahertz FM. And uh, on the other side of that communication, see if I can get the light to display here, uh, I will use this new to me Harris RF 7850 um, handheld. Very bad focusing today. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, this, this is uh, sort of the, the, the successor to the Harris RF 310. Uh, and, and it's the civilian version of the, whatever the successor would be to the PRC 152 handheld. It's quite a interesting radio. Okay. So I'm going to pause here and, and get the first uh, experiment set up. Okay. Nothing's ever easy. So, uh, what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that this radio is set up for 3885 kilohertz. Uh, I've got this little speaker that you can hear and a handset. I have no antenna set up for it, so uh, it's you know not really going to do much, but clearly the radio tunes down that far, and it'll tune down as far as 1.5 for transmit and 200 kilohertz for receive. So now, this is always a little tricky here. Let's see if I can get it to the next frequency. So we're going to hit recall we're on channel 3 c3 recall now this is always very confusing to me let's try 101 see if that works no of course not recall channel 1 maybe 1 okay so here you see we've got 52.125 uh the squelch is on and i don't have uh i, I could I don't have the radio set up to, uh, to transmit and receive on that, but you can take my word on it. This, even the HF radio goes up to 108, 102, 108. So it's not that great of a feat. But now let's, let's go to, let's recall channel, is it two? Let's try two. No, of course not. 102. 102. There we go. And here you will see the radio is 445 megahertz, 445,000 kilohertz. Uh, so let's see. Now this radio, I don't know if this is going to display easily. Um, you can see it's on low power, 445 megahertz for both RX and TX. And I had to do, I had to configure them both for, um, sorry for the, for the, I had to configure them both for squelch using tone squelch, 150 hertz tone squelch. So well, let's see what we can do here. So we're going to first, we're going to transmit on the Harris and we'll hear it here. And actually, I think I'll show it here. You can see. Test, test. Well, let's, let's give ourselves a little more volume here. There it is. Test, test. A little, little too much feedback. Let's lower that. Test, 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 test. Hopefully you can hear that. Test, you can hear a little echoey. Test, 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 test. This is W2HX test, low power. 
All right, let's just make sure we can hear that. Test, 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 test. Okay, and let's go the other way around. So let's use, uh, we'll use this handset, which is connected to the radio through the speaker. And let's see what we can do here. Test, test, test. This is a test. This is W2HX test. So there you have it. So this radio, now I'll, I'll remind you that this radio is only putting out about one milliwatt through this little, you know, rubber ducky, uh, cheap little antenna here. Uh, so, you know, you're not going to uh, write home about those about that, but it does work. So this radio, as you can see, uh, goes from uh, 1.5 or 3.885 that I showed all the way to at least 445, but it goes to 512. All right, so um, let's go to the next next part of this uh, of this whole project. Okay, so I want to apologize. I've decided to make it a part two. Uh, I've decided this is long enough for showing the the uh, expanded range uh, RT uh, man pack. Uh, and that the whole vehicular setup, since it'll take me a little bit more time to actually get working, I'm going to make a part two. So that's it for this part. Thanks for watching.